Hey, hey, what's up, you guys? Finally, we're about to try and replace the studs on this 93 Honda Accord rotor here. Man, it's been a long time coming. It's been a whole week. Anyway, these are the new studs. And I'm going to replace all four of them. It's one that's still on there, but it's probably going to break off sometime soon anyway. And I also bought some new lug nuts because three of them are gone <laughs> so we're just gonna do everything new i hope that this man i hope that this goes well <laughs> oh boy here we go you guys not gonna do much talking and guess what i only watched a video on how to do this once and that was i don't know maybe last sunday or monday or so so i'm going off of what i remember but we're gonna um we're going to work on it, you guys. We are going to work on it. Get this baby jacked up. I'm almost wondering if I need to turn the wheel. to make it easier to get to the back side of that that rotor oh boy and guess what the battery's not in here so it ain't like I can crank it up and turn the steering wheel out easy somebody's shooting <sighs> put this under here just for a little extra support in case the jack wants to cut up. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna take off this one. Look, nut. Yeah, it needs a new piece on it there anyway. Hubcap. Lay that over there. Yeah, I'm wondering, you guys, if I'm going to have to turn that wheel to, to see in there better. But anyway, you got to take off this this entire brake caliper and it's supposed to be a 17 I got a wrench here I don't know if I can get a socket back there or not she's tight wow she's tight you guys um wow let me see. And I don't want to pull it off of the I want to pull it off of the jack stand. Trying to get it loose. Wow. Wow we wow we. Let me um let me see if I got a 17 millimeter socket when I get my breaker bar, but the breaker bar ain't gonna fit in there though. Man, you guys, I need to try to turn the steering wheel. I need to try to turn the steering wheel, turn the steering wheel out so that it'll have it this way. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that or not. Let me see.
So I was able to get it turned, you guys, but uh, my neighbor on his motorcycle, he's on his, his cruiser. All right, Kenny. <laughs> All right, let me go get my breaker bar, you guys. Hold up, wait a minute. Go, go. Get it. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go get my breaker bar. Y'all know I miss riding. <laughs> The brake line is sort of in the way now. I don't want to mess up the brake line. All right, I got it on there. Can y'all see? Y'all probably can't see, but that's not important about y'all seeing. <laughs> I know I'm being. That's not. That's not nice to say. But uh, let me sort of brace the car too and pull on it. Ain't got much leverage. But it's coming free. Let me um let me try to ratchet. So I don't have to keep taking it off. Here we go, you guys. We got it. That's the top one. Let's see it's the bottom one. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Oh my goodness. Whoo. Guess that's why they call it a breaker bar. I forgot I need to get I need to get something where I can hang that caliper when we take it loose. I forgot about that. I just remembered. We need to hang it so that so that it's not pulling on that brake line. Put that in the tire. have to use the wrench for that or something on my fingers. Okay, so the top one is short and the bottom one is long. Wow. Mm. That joke ain't budging. Let's give it a little tap. Wait a minute, you guys. Wait a minute. I took off the wrong one. I took off the wrong one. Why did you guys let me do that? So yes, guys, that was the wrong boat. I had to go back to the YouTube video and look. And that whole thing has to come off. Not just that part. So that, that bottom boat that I took off was just for that part there to come out of that bracket. And I went and got some bungee cords so I can hang that thing. But we need to put that back in there. So that long boat goes back in. I was wondering why it was greasy like that. That was a mystery to me. 
Like, why is that boat greasy? But anyway, y'all y'all know, man. Y'all already know. <laughs> Tighten it back up. Ugh. All right. <clears throat> now, this other boat, I believe, is a little harder to get to. Maybe not much harder. It's just below it. And maybe it'll be the same size as the other one. <laughs> oh, my hat got hung up on the car. Y'all seen the video where I opened up my new Amadis hat? Yeah. It's the video right before this one. Check it out when you get time. Man, that's in a... Uh, it is in a little bit more difficult place to get to. We'll get it, though. I think that's it right there. I don't have much room. Got it broke loose. Maybe I can get it with the ratchet now. It's starting to look sort of cloudy. All right, now we got it. And it's already, it's already getting floppy. See there? I would have been banging on something and tearing it up. About to tear something up, you guys. There we go. That boat is short like that one. That makes more sense now, doesn't it? Okay. Man, these things here are so old, I hope they don't tear apart. Oh, my knees, this cement. This cement does not feel good. <laughs> there we go, you guys. So, how do I want to hang it? Are you going to be strong enough to hold it? I know what. I'll double it up. Stick it in there. Oh, come on. All right, that should hold it. Now. I'm going to give you guys a close-up to see what's going on here, okay? So, all right, so back here, don't worry about all the grease and everything, back here, right in there, is the place, the opening, where, wait a minute, yeah, where I need to try and get it knocked out, let me see something, there's supposed to be a gap, is it going to come out of there, or do I need to turn the rotor, I think, it's supposed to be a gap, I don't know if it's, Oh, hold on, you guys. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's it. I looked on the back side, and there's a metal shield on the back side. So that gap in there is where it's supposed to be able to knock out. So now I guess we're going to see if we can knock out. We can knock those studs out. And every one that I knock out, I'm going to have to turn it to this position right here where that opening is. Okay, so here we go. We're going to try it, you guys. <laughs> we're going to try it. All right, so I got this hammer here that I'm borrowing from the shop with this big punch. And you know what? There is, there is a little bit sticking out right there. So let me hit it with just the hammer first. It's moving. It's moving, you guys. It is moving. Oh, that come. <laughs> It was ready to come out of there. It was ready. There's the broken one. So now.
We have a new one here versus the broken one. And let me see if it's going to go in. I'm just looking at the threads on the hole there, how good they are. Got to make sure that the splines are lined up right. Now, oh yeah, that's the other thing. I got a large nut that I got to go get to put on there. And I'm going to use the, the lug nut to tighten up on that nut to pull it through. So let me go get that nut right quick. Um, I'll be back. All right, you guys, I'm back. And I have this nut here, according to the video. <laughs> Um, some people can buy a tool and I looked at that tool at um, Advanced Auto the tool that you can use to pull the, um, the stud through there. That thing was $43. I said, oh no And even the guy there was like, no, I wouldn't pay that much either. So you can use a nut a, a large nut to put here and Tighten up the regular lug nut to pull it through So I got a torque wrench. I got it set on 85 foot pounds of torque. And uh, I'm going to tighten it up. Where's my socket at? I'm going to tighten it up. I got to make sure that the splines are lining up because I don't want to mess up the splines. I hope that it'll pull it into place. But you're tightening up and that should pull it through. Now, whenever you tighten up the lug nut to put the tire on, it should only be 80 foot-pounds of torque. Like I said, I don't... I, oh, man. Ugh. I want to make sure that the splines are lined up. I do not want to mess up the splines. So... I'm going to back it up because I want to check on it. I, I can't really see. I can't see and, oh man, I don't know. I mean, if it pulls through, I'm, I'm going to tap it back out right quick. I'm going to tap it out. And I'm thinking if it pulled in that far, that should have been right. Okay, I know what I can do. I can sort of turn it with my fingers and feel it vibrating across the splines. And I guess eventually, if it's not lined up, when you tighten up on it, it's going to pull it through like it's supposed to go. But I just don't want to mess up nothing, you guys. I really don't. Let's let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and tighten it up with the torque wrench. I'm real nervous about this. Lord, please let it be lined up right. I see my whole transmission moving. <laughs> it hasn't got to that 
85 yet. I hadn't heard a click. Oh, there it is. You heard a click? That's 85. That's what a torque wrench does. It makes that click sound. It makes that click sound so that you don't go further than what you're supposed to. You set it. You can set it. You turn, you turn the handle. This goes all the way up to 150 foot-pounds of torque. So I had it at 85. Back it off. It should be pulled all the way through, you guys. I'll give you a close up. I hope that it's right. <laughs> That's the new stud in there. I'm hoping that it's right, you guys. Let me look. Let's look back here. See if it looks flush. It looks pretty flush. According to the other ones as well, it looks pretty flush. So. We're going to keep going, you guys. We're going to keep going. While I'm here, since the battery's not connected, y'all know we had to take the battery loose. Thank God this thing has a shift lock release on the inside so that I can move the trans uh, the transmission will be free with the shift lock release because I wouldn't have any way of releasing that lock right there. So, <laughs> thank God for this old style shift lock release on this honda accord all right you guys let me go put the uh transmission in neutral so we can turn it Yes, I have the parking brake on. Ugh. Come on around. A little bit more. All right. Go. Let's see how easily these come out. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Now I can feel that one. I'll be more sure tightening this one up. Okay, there it is, 85. That's two. Man, this is, this is easy. I'm glad we decided to do this, you guys. I'll be mad if I try to pay somebody to do this.
right, on to the next one. I might well leave the door open. All right. We rolling right along. Um. Hey, get in there. Get in there. Don't tell me you, wait a minute. Wait a minute, you guys. N -n -n Are you kidding? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they sent a, that's the wrong size. You guys, are you kidding me? Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Mercy on my soul, Lord. See, this is why I thank God for the Holy Ghost. I thank God for the Holy Ghost and the Word of God that's in me because I would be cursing up a storm right now. Oh. You guys, see? This is what I'm talking about right here. This is what I'm talking about. I knew it. It was rolling too smooth. It was rolling way too smooth. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Whatever. We going on. Good gracious, I tell you. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. <laughs> I know this is spiritual warfare, because see, I got to preach, right? The enemy's mad. The enemy is mad. Wow. Unreal. So now it's the battery and it's a stud. Mm. And that's going to hold up our progress. We can't go no further than this. Are you all the way in? All right. Let me make sure it's flush. All right. So you guys, wow. Y'all 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 witnessing this stuff, man. Man, this ain't our doing. It's not our doing. <laughs> so we got three in. We got three in. Hey, we can roll with three. We was rolling with one before, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, there's no need to prolong this video. I'm going to wrap this part up. Wow. We're going to have to have a part two to come back and finish this. That's crazy. That is crazy.
<laughs> you guys, <laughs> I'm sitting here laughing at myself at the fit that I just had a few moments ago. I mean, really, really, we, we've got this far and, and come to find out that one of the studs is wrong. And I just called Advanced Auto and they said that the part won't be here till Monday. They got the order, and it won't be here till Monday. First he said Sunday, then he looked and said, oh, no, it'll be Monday. <laughs> I can't believe this, man. I can't believe it. Anyway, you know what? Even though I can't get the fourth one put in right now, I still am grateful to God. I'm thankful that I was able to do this myself and not have to spend money on somebody else to repair those studs so hallelujah anyhow okay <laughs> hallelujah anyhow yes you can laugh at me i'm laughing at myself okay <laughs> but anyway that's the message i'm still thankful i'm still grateful this is a this is a live event where 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 i tell you guys to be grateful in all things I'm having to apply it to myself right now, <laughs> even though I have not completed the job. So, wow, it's going to be a part two, you guys. Uh, I hope that you maybe learned a little bit of something, got you a few laughs, whatever, <laughs> from watching this part one. So we got to get back to it another day. Monday, I doubt it because y'all know we be working late. So that's that, you guys. <laughs> You guys stay blessed. You guys keep encouraged. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.